1954, the Holy Cross men's basketball team made history, winning the NIT championship. At that time, the NIT was bigger than the NCAA tournament. They were and still are the smallest school ever to win the national championship. Members of that 1954 team gathering today in Worcester to reminisce and do interviews for the documentary about that squad titled Purple Rain, a special day for these former teammates and friends. Well, you know, we used to run a lot. I'm surprised half of us are walking <laughs> right now. I mean, we're all in our 80s, and, but it's a great experience to reminisce about our years here at uh, Holy Cross. Uh, it was a memorable thing that this team did. We, we had a great basketball team, and everybody was uh, a significant part of it. So visiting with these guys that I haven't seen in years, really a lot of fun. We come back here and, and talk about things that happened 65 years ago, and everyone remembers them, and, and they get a big kick out of them. And they're, they're still very important parts of their lives, you know. So it's, it's, it's really a nice getting together like this and kind of reliving what we did in our early years. I wish I could describe it in words. It's been wonderful. And uh, uh, to see, to be with these fellows who you played with, you know, and uh, all these years have gone by and see what's gone on with the, in their lives and so forth. But it's almost like we're still back to 1954. And winning that championship and having that great season will be with me for the rest of my life. And again, Holy Cross won the NIT 1954. The great that so many members of that team were able to get together today at Holy Cross and then for a reception at O'Connor's Restaurant. Worcester native D. Rowe will be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame this weekend. Rowe getting the special contribution to basketball honor. And typical of D, he deflects the praise and talks about how the game has given him so many relationships that he treasures. I tell you what, Kevin, it's, it's about the game and it's about the people that were there before me. I, I started, as I said, in second or third grade, watching uh, Worcester Tech or before Holy Cross got where they were, and then the guys that were at Holy Cross, Coos and Andy and Bobby and Frank Oftring and Joe Mullaney and Bobby Curran and all, all those guys, they were like gods to me. And, uh, and I became close friends and they were, great leaders for me and inspirations. Every one of them became a college coach. And I was just a kid walking down the street from Worcester Academy to greet them when they came back from winning the national championship. Incredible, great honor for D. Rowe and so worthy of the honor as well. Congratulations to D. Rowe, one of the all time greats. Opening out of the high school football season tomorrow at Commerce Bank Field at Foley Stadium, Doherty and Wachusett. Now, opening weekend is always interesting because teams don't have film to look at, so you're learning about each other on the fly. Uh, I've heard they're pretty athletic, they're pretty fast, so we just want to get bigger, faster, stronger, try to really stop them. I know they got some, they got some talented backs and receivers, so the corners are going to have to lock them down. Go. Doherty's excited about being the opening game of the season and at home on the Foley Stadium turf and they're looking to open eyes in Central Mass. Um, I'm pumped, honestly. I think with the first game, we, we played the first game in Central Mass, and I've been waiting for Wachusett for a long time. Ever since summer, I've been working hard. I'm ready for them, ready to beat them first day. All of us can't wait for that Thursday night against Wachusett. We've been working so hard all summer. There's nothing we want more than for that game to be here, and we're all ready for it, ready to show what we can do and how much that hard work's going to pay off. It's a great honor to be opening up the season for Central Mass. And we've been kind of winning for this game since Thanksgiving. And we've had a chip on our shoulder all year long. So we're just ready to get out there September 7th. All right, so Doherty and Wachusett tomorrow night live right here on Charter TV 3. Friday night, we got the frenzy starting at 1025. And then Saturday, it is Tantasqua Westboro. And you can see that one right here as well at 7 p.m. Well, the saying goes, practice makes perfect. But there's no substitute for game experience. The Assumption football team won their first game of the season last week, and now the Hounds are looking to build off of that this Friday. 
Yeah, it's like when the bullets start flying a little bit, that, that, that's when you start to learn a lot about the key people in key positions, quarterbacking in particular. That's one that, you know, that guy's standing back there, he's taking on a lot of heat, and at the same time, he's got to del deliver, get us into the right play calls, and do everything that he's supposed to do and, and do, it, do it well. And I think that's one place that we'll see a lot of improvement. He did a great job, but he, I think he's, he's capable of even more. Um, you know, the running backs, I thought, did a nice job. And then defensively, in the secondary, we just had some big play is that we we're able to break up, but we're just a little bit too close to call. So those are things I think that we're going to see a, a great improvement on over this next week. So Assumption at home on Friday night taking on pace. Anyone that shows up with a youth football jersey, Pop Warner, flag football, AYF, whatever, you get in free. And again, great to see that whole 1954 NIT championship team from Holy Cross back and celebrating and reminiscing, just uh, really historical. I love it. Yeah. Good stuff. Good to see them. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you guys tomorrow.